la tradición presenta que en las fiestas de los días de muerte The tradition dictates that during the day of the dead celebration people need to put altars in their homes. The altar is built to welcome the deceased loved ones back into the home. From an anthropological point of view, this day is dedicated to the integration of the family. Through this tradition, the children in the family are given the life stories of each of the family members that are included in the altar. The first element in the altar is the patate, which is a mat made with palm leaves. The patate was used to receive the life of a newborn, as well as wrap the dead. It is also used for eating and in family reunions. Another important element on the altar is water, because it is a symbol of life, and we need to remember that all humans begin to die at the time of their birth. Another important element is salt, because it is a preservative. Copal, which is an incense, is also important as an aromatic and purifying element. Candles are another important element. One candle is lit for each deceased family member. A single candle is lit and put off to the side in honor of all of the dead who have no families left to honor them during the holiday. Traditional Mexican food is an element of the altar. Mole, tamales, and chocolate are all typical Mexican fare. The most well-known food element is the pan de muertos, or bread of the dead. The bread is made with wheat and sugar and decorated on top to represent bones and skulls. Coyetas are another element of the traditional altar. The goyeta is a round bread decorated in pink that is hung on the end of a sugar cane. This placement is intended to represent the bones of the dead also. The final element offered to the dead is seasonal fruits from the region. Using each of these elements will create a traditional altar which is representative of this region of Mexico.